I damaged my skin barrier completely by using way too many products and now I finally strengthened it back up with just this one product. The ingredients are so hydrating. I know people may think it's got snail mucin in and they might get a bit scared but this has literally saved my skin. It's from a brand called COSRX and it's the Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It has completely transformed my skin and I finally feel confident enough to leave the house without makeup on. If I was to recommend any product, it would definitely be this one for acne scars, strengthening up your skin barrier and also hydration. I've been seeing these Snail Mucin facial products all over my TikTok for you page so you know I had to be the next one to try it. I got all these products from a brand called Kazarex. And I tell you guys, I beat my face to take content like seven hours ago. I took a shower. I got in the freaking pool and this makeup remover still got the rest of the makeup off. Definitely a hundred out of ten. That is crazy. Next up, I wanted to try their blemish control. Amo teasers to pluck these little balls out. Y'all, this was so cool. I've never seen skincare in ball form, so you guys know I had to try this out. So this is what they look like. Super hydrated, super smooth. I immediately felt like, okay, I like this product. Look at my skin, we did not even do much yet. <laughs> Bottle says to put it anywhere when you feel like you have heavy amounts of blemish or dark spots, and for me, that's been everywhere lately. Kept smelling everything because I was like, what does snails smell like? Everything was scentless, thank God. This definitely was a 10 out of 10, I love that. Far so good, these products are mwah so far. This is the one I was really anticipating, Snail Mucin. It's 92% snail secretion. What? I'm imagining what the consistency would be like. You know I had to just go ahead and crack it open. This is the packaging that came in. They had a twist off top, which was good. It even had a seal on it. You guys, look how slimy that is. Oh my gosh. I had to smell this one too, because I'm like, what does this smell like? Again, scentless, which is great. We get back into that though. Look at that. The good thing about this product is it was completely spreadable, so all I needed was a little excess off the cap, and look how nice it glided on my face. This felt good immediately. Like, I immediately felt like my skin was good. So here's me spreading it all over my face, trying to make sure I cover every nook and cranny. It felt smooth, it felt creamy, it felt thick, but not too thick. I was in love with it. Look at this part, your skincare down to your neck, guys. Your skin is part of your facial care. You can see how much I enjoyed this product because I was blending it, like, just for fun at this point. It just felt better and better the more I blended it in. Well, basically, every facial product feels good while it's wet, so I kept blending just to see what it would feel like once it dried down. And you guys, look at my face. Oh my gosh, it felt so freaking good. Look at everything, it's literally glistening. Like, this is amazing. A side profile, so you guys can see. Another side profile. Doesn't my skin just look alive? Like, literally, this is about to be part of my daily skincare. I don't care. Another side profile. I'm gonna rate the blemish control a smooth 10 out of 10. I did enjoy that a lot. It was hydrating, it was scentless. I'm gonna rate the makeup remover a thousand out of 10. Easy, because how did you discover makeup I put on seven hours ago? This is definitely getting replaced with my micellar water. Putting away the box and I didn't even realize there was snail mousse and serum at the bottom. How did I miss that? I just went in with a bump on my face and oh my goodness, this was creamy as well. But so freaking hydrating. Everything was a 10 out of 10. 